Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a career sim, but it is not your typical career sim. I do not care how many points this player gets. I want to see how many penalty minutes and how many fights one individual can have in their career. I have created a high franchise enforcer with very low discipline that fights often. You already know this is a recipe for success. I'm very interested to find out how many fights on average this player is gonna put up, how many penalty minutes they can really get in a season. And also I guess, although I mentioned that I don't really care about points, it is gonna be very cool to see an enforcer putting up points. If he does, maybe he won't, I don't know. But on that note, let's go ahead and get it started and find out what happens with this high franchise enforcer. It is time to simulate the career of Douglas the Thugless Glatt, who is now expected to go first overall, even over Connor Bedard. And the Columbus Blue Jackets managed to win the draft lottery. They do end up taking Doug, so the Seattle Kraken get Connor Bedard at pick number two. He's 76 overall. Although, I haven't recorded the intro yet, I'm pretty sure I'm going to show you guys a lot of this, but that 45 discipline is something that I really wanted to make sure was there. And I was also curious to see if that was going to grow, because obviously he's got the franchise potential, and of course he's going to go up in overall, his attributes are going to change, so I didn't know if discipline would be part of that. But we're going to find out here. His first year he is in the AHL, playing for the Cleveland Monsters. 190 penalty minutes, you'll love to see it. And of course, 25 Tillies on the season. I'm going to be focusing mainly on those two. We will be looking at goals assists as well. But for the most part, I want to see fights and pims and try to compare that to all time. So at 81 overall, Doug is up in the NHL now playing for the Columbus Blue Jackets and Corpy Salo has returned. I wanted to make sure that I was using the most up-to-date roster and sure enough, he did play a season with the Los Angeles Kings. So yes, we're all good. Columbus finished second in the Metropolitan Division. Doug Glatt only played 63 games this year, so he must have had some kind of injury. Maybe they sent him back down to the AHL. I'm not fully sure. But regardless, had 102 pims, 14 fights, and they made it to the conference finals against the Flow Rider Panthers, where they were bested. This year, just missing out on the playoffs. I mean, not really, because they only got 85 points, but they were still fourth in the division. Doug Glatt puts up 27 points. Outstanding, but... The really important thing is 186 penalty minutes and 27 scraps. Now we're talking. Let's go. Colorado, your Stanley Cup champions for year number four. Now we enter year number five. Doug Latt, a certified first liner, 89 overall, 52 discipline. That's amazing. The team finishes sixth in the division. Doug has 50 points, but most importantly, 273 pims. And on top of that, give the guy 44 more in the fighting column. He doubled Tanner Genot. And I believe he doubled him for Pims as well. Toronto Maple Leafs are your Stanley Cup champions. But it doesn't matter. Because Doug Latt is back. He is 93 overall. He signs a new ticket. Basically two years at 7 mil per. The team finishes 6th in the Metro. Again, 81 points on the season. Who cares how the team's doing though? Doug the Thug. 70 points, 210 penalty minutes on the season, and 26 Tillies. Felino almost had him this year. It was close. But nope, still in the lead, which is great. Big change up here in year seven. Doug is going to be playing with Zegris and Brat on the first line, Goudreau on the second line, and look at Cole Sillinger, 87 overall on the fourth line. They are very deep in the center. And on top of that, they got some abilities on the left side for defense, really stacking up in certain spots. Down the middle for forwards, left side for defensemen. Maybe it's a strategy, who knows. With 100 points, the Columbus Blue Jackets finish second in the Metro. We get 239 pims from Doug Glatt and 33 more scarps to add to the total. The Jackets were rinsed in round one by the Pity Pens. It only took them six games, but it is what it is. Doesn't matter because we are back better than ever. New contract, three years at 10.7. The team still looks fairly solid overall. They got Linus and Net, couple abilities there, no big deal. They finished third in the Metro with 92 points. Doug Glatt, 231 pims, baby. 56 points on the year, but no one cares about that. And he has 35 scraps, which is more than Felino. They made it all the way to the second round. That's about it. 
But it's still a decent run, I guess. I can't help but see that they are killing Cole Sillinger on that fourth line. It's down to 84 overall. The Jackets finish with 91 points, third in the Metro. Doug again leading the league in Pims. He's going to get kicked out. 232 with 36 fights, but there's a new sheriff in town, Taves, and he is coming for that belt. Columbus made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals this year against the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, but they got rinsed. It was a five-game series. Didn't put up much of a fight. They are back in the playoff picture, though, in the next year. Second in the Metro, Doug with 205 Pims. 60 points as well, you know. Not bad. And Taves is once again right on his tail, but he still managed to lead. The New Jersey Devils will make light work. Not really. It went to seven. But it was a round one exit, nonetheless. The team appears to be getting progressively worse. Xavier Borgo, be a pro legend. If you know, you know. I had to go over and show him. New contract, six years at $11 million AAV. Solid deal for Doug. He's definitely adding that toughness to your lineup. With... 89 points. The Columbus Blue Jackets finished third in the Metropolitan Division. Doug only got 173 this year. Kind of upset. But he did get 75 points. So pretty solid. And Svedberg would take the belt. We can't allow that, Doug. Got to come back better than ever. The Flyers delete the Columbus Blue Jackets in round one, taking only five games. The only important thing here for me is the discipline. Still not really going up, but I thought I'd give you guys a stat update when... He's sort of at his peak, which is 94 overall right now. I don't think he gets up to 95. I'm pretty sure 94 is the height of Doug the Thug Glad's progression. But anyway, 74 points and 204 pims. He can do it all. 27 fights, which means Doug takes the belt back. He was first in the NHL. The San Jose Sharks are your Stanley Cup champions. But in year 13, we are back with Doug the Thug Glad, who's playing with Zegris and Trotter on the first line. Columbus finishes fifth in the Metro with 75 points. They're out of the playoffs with 45 points and 233 pims. We have Doug Glatt, but Glenn Cross this year had 39 tillies. What's up with that? So the belt, not really consistent right now. It's sort of going all over the place. But that's okay because Doug the Thug Glatt won't stand for that, right, Doug? I'm going to take it right back. Ninema, top defender. It's always very interesting for me later on in The Sims to see what these teams are because they are so confusing. 237 pims though let's direct our attention to that 36 scraps as well means the belt is back where it belongs on Doug who is playing with Trevor Zegris and Gianta this year Pelic left winger got an x-factor there but you're gonna have to wait for Doug still 56 discipline and the team still sucks seventh in the metro 79 points you know who doesn't suck, though, is Doug Glatt. With 196 penalty minutes and 28 fights, he will be bested by Taves in both departments. Which means the belt is once again leaving Doug. So he's got to earn it back. Got to get that title shot. The defense looking okay. Goaltender situation. Who cares about the team? All right, I'm here for one reason and one reason only. Seventh in the Metro. Yeah, yeah, whatever. 272 pims. The kid is back. 39 fights. You... Love to see it. San Jose with another Stanley Cup championship. And Doug Glad still at 94 overall. Going to be playing with Jack Hughes and Gianta. Feels like I'm flying through this. But Doug Glad signs another contract. Three years at 12.25 AAV. The team is looking interesting. They did get a better goalie, I guess. I'll give them credit for that. But the team itself did not get better. Because they still didn't make the playoffs. Sixth in the Metro. 298 pims from Doug. Woo! 44 fights as well. Legend. At the young age of 33, Doug still putting up numbers and still as undisciplined as ever. Down to 90 overall now. Who cares though? Not even Doug. He doesn't want points. That's not what he's here for. He is here for one reason and that is to break the all-time penalty minutes record and that's how you do it right there. 290 in one season as well as 42 fights. wonder if it's possible. I want to see someone hit the 50 mark in one season. That would be outrageous. I mean, even 42 is pretty bonkers because that is a fight every other game. The fans are loving it. They're not loving the 8th place finish, but they're distracted by 283 penalty minutes and 41 fights from Doug Glatt. That would do it for me. I don't need my team to win. You know, if I have a guy like that on my team... Who cares if we win the Stanley Cup? Which, by the way, San Jose has been doing a lot of in this simulation. I am now realizing. A one-year deal 
at 9.3 million, still staying loyal to the jackets that are blue in color. It's on the second line now. And the team manages to sneak into the playoffs with a fifth place finish in the Metro. 91 total points from the squad, 235 penalty minutes from Doug Glatt, and 34 scraps to keep him on top. Unfortunately, the playoff run was not long. First round exit to the Carolina Hurricanes in six games. And Doug decides he's done after that, retiring just shy of 1,000 points. That just goes to show you how little he actually cares about points. Could have stayed around for a few games next year. Easily hit that milestone, but he decided, nope, doesn't matter. 4,100 penalty minutes for Douglas the Thugless in this simulation. And obviously, it doesn't show fights here, unfortunately. I had to go ahead and record those all myself. Tiger Williams was the leader for penalty minutes with 3,971. But he is no longer the leader as Doug put up 4,100 penalty minutes in his career. I couldn't really find an official fights count. But I think I got one here that's pretty solid. And it says that Ty Domi was leading the all-time fights list with 339. And Doug put up a casual... 594 fights. Honestly, I just kind of came up with this idea on the spot, and it's one of my favorite career sims I've ever done. I've never rooted more for a player. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. The stats show that 139% of you watching this video are not subscribed. I don't know how that's possible. But here we are. If you have other sim ideas or video ideas that you would like to see me do, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you soon.